Hello viewers, today we will discuss the indication of angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors in diabetic nephropathy. First of all, what is nephropathy? Nephro means nephrons and pathy means disorders. So it means the deterioration of the kidney function due to the damage of blood vessels in the kidney. Normally, it means that normally there are a specific blood vessels in the kidney which are known as glomeruli and the function of these blood vessels is to filter the vast products such as uric acid, uh, urea or creatinine that are comes out from the body and enters the kidney through the efferent and uh, arterioles. When they come into this area, they are filtered out from this blood into the renal tubule, into this renal tubule. And the other important materials that are important from our body will not be filtered from this blood but will be goes back to our body through efferent arterioles. These important products may include the proteins, the albumins, glucose or other important materials. But when the function of this area is disturbed or destroyed, due to the presence of high glucose level in our body we say this condition is a diabetic nephropathy it means that the in diabetic nephropathy the function of this filtration is deteriorated due to the high glucose level in our body let me discuss that what what happens when the high glucose level damage these uh, blood vessels that are present in the kidney under normal glucose level when then these glucose level are passes through the this area they do not produce enough to damage this area but when the glucose level becomes too high and when this high glucose level are passes through this area they produce a high pressure on these area and as a result the kidney do not tolerate these high blood these high pressure of glucose as a result the pores that are present in this area becomes high and due to these high pores the uh, important materials such as proteins and albumins are also come out through these uh, pores. So, when uh, in diabetic patient, when the proteins level becomes high, higher than 300 milligram per 24 hours, and the albumin level becomes higher than 300 milligram per uh, 24 hours, it means that diabetic nephropathy. Uh, occur in these type of patients will reduce the pressure of these glucose in this level and also hot will reduce the uh, amount of proteins and albumins in the urine normally there is a substance known as renin that are released from the juxtaglomerulus apparatus this renin is a uh, kind of uh, Act by acting on the angiotensin gene are converted into angiotensin 1 and angiotensin 1 is an inactive uh, substance this angiotensin 1 is converted by an enzyme that are present in the endothelial cells of the lungs called uh, angiotensin converting enzymes this angiotensin uh, converting enzyme will by acting on angiotensin 1 will convert it into angiotensin 2, angiotensin 2 by acting on uh, different receptors that are present on different blood vessels and these receptors are angiotensin 1 receptor. When these angiotensin 2 act on these receptors, they will cause uh, vasoconstriction. Here they will also cause vasoconstriction in the, these efferent arterioles and when this there is vasoconstriction there will be further increase in the pressure of the blood as well as uh, the pressure of the glucose as a result uh, the proteins and the albumin level will further be increased so to 
avoid this diabetic nephropathy, we take the angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor. Angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor, the first FDA approved drug that is Captopril. So when we use this Captopril, Captopril, they will block this angiotensin converting enzyme so the angiotensin 2 will not be produced and as a result it will not act on angiotensin 1 receptor as a result vasodilation will be occur. Due to this vasodilation the hyperglomerulus filtration rate will be, be, becomes normal and there will be the reduction of protein and albumin in the uh, urine and also the diabetic nephropathy uh, probably will be resolved.